Hello and welcome to Lloyd Old House. How would you like to make this beautiful little bird cage in scale 112 using household items and fairly easy to make? Let's get started. These are the things that we're going to need. A little round circle of wood, make sure that it is flat. Some of the ones in the bag are not very flat. This one is perfect and is the perfect size. An empty container of um, medication, roughly the same size as the wood chip, carpenter's glue, a bunch of these wimpy toothpicks. Don't use the ones that are round and thick. We need them the thinner the better. A rubber band, I'll see which one works better. These markers that are to touch up furniture or floors if you want to paint it. A little drop of fabric fusion or if you don't have this, you can use crazy glue, a little piece of wire. If you don't have wire, don't go and buy any because you're only going to use a very small piece. You can use also some string and ribbon. I picked the black ribbon because I'm gonna be painting my birdcage of a dark brown. I'm gonna be cutting a little piece of the bottom so that it is not round. I actually want this part to be flat so that it can be glued onto the wood circle. First thing I'll do, start painting, staining I should say, and I'll be using the darkest one. I'll finish with the staining part of it. So basically I'm forming the, the bird cage around this container and once I have them all set up I'll bring this inside and glue them. You want to space them not so far apart that the bird could escape but also you don't want them too close to each other that you wouldn't be able to see in. Okay, and they look like they're spaced out evenly. I'll fix this one before I put the glue. Okay, now let's glue them. You are gonna get some glue, glue on your hands. Okay, make sure that I have glue in all of the sides. And now put it in here. Okay, and now my last chance to line them up. Okay, now that I have them all straightened out, I'm gonna push them with my flat surface. And these are the little imperfections. My last chance to fix them before it dries. Some of my toothpicks are leaning to one side. I don't have that much long before the glue dries, so I better get to fixing them right now. Oops, I don't want these together. And now all I have to do is wait. I'm gonna wrap around the ribbon right here on the lower part to strengthen it. And then again, a little bit higher. So I'm gonna cut two of the length of the circumference roughly. I 
and I'm gonna try this well bond glue. I've never used it, but it says that it can be used with wood and fabric. So this is fabric, this is wood, and so I should be able to get a good, good, sturdy wrap around. I don't want the glue to go onto the container, so when it's time to remove it, it's not glued onto any of the wood pieces. So I'm going to brush the glue onto the little toothpicks and try not to get it onto the container. And I don't know how fast it dries, so I better get moving before it starts drying. I was gonna try crazy glue, but a couple of times I have already glued my fingers together, and that's a pretty scary feeling, so I stay away from it for right now. and I hope it dries clear. That's what I like about the wood glue, because it dries clear, and then you can paint over it and you can also sand it off. Okay, so this will help me keep the toothpicks in place. I'm gonna hold it a little bit until it dries, and then do the same thing in the middle of the cage. Actually, it will be the, top, the superior part, because from here on is where I'm gonna break off um, the toothpicks so that they can bend onto a pyramid and the same thing on the upper part of the cage I hope that the two lines meet together when I can turn it around all the way <laughs> because if I go crooked they're not going to meet together I think they didn't, so I'm gonna put more glue just to make sure that I'll be able to get a good hold. Okay. It's a little uneven my chance to fix it before it dries. And a little bit more for added strength. It's been drying for a while now, so I'm gonna remove the rubber band carefully. And hopefully it didn't stick to the container. Here we have what is already starting to look like a bird cage. This is what I think he should look like. So what I did is I cut two, two pieces of white felt and then I glued them together and I painted him with permanent markers. I know he's a little bit two dimensional, but I don't wanna put anything heavy um, because this is gonna be suspended from the top of the cage. Let's work on the bird stand and also what will also be the wing on top of the cage. If you don't have wire, like I said, don't go out and buy anything. You can use a piece of string, a piece of yarn, a piece of thread. I'll probably need less than this, but just to be sure. So this is where the bird will perch. So that I'm, I'm gonna try to make a little flat part right here in the bottom. And somewhere here, I'll glue him. You can, it can sit there while it dries. 
I have to do something a little bit scary. I'm going to break them off so that they lean inward. Then they should all meet in the center and top of the cage. And do it carefully to all of them. And then I'll come back and strengthen them with some glue just in case the whole thing wants to fall. I'm bending them enough to bend them inward, but not too much so that they break off. Two more to go and we're done. Okay. Now I have them all leaning together and kind of converging in the center. And if I want to put the bird, I should do it now. Really, I'm gonna open them up and then I'll fix them when I have this little piece of jewelry. I'm gonna fill it with glue and put it right there. And here I'm gonna be very generous with the glue. have to hold it until they dry. It's been drying for a while. Now I just have to adjust the height of the bird. And I like this type of wire. This is jewelry wire because it's very soft and easy to cut. And let me see. So this one is going to make it Stay right there, and then the other side. I don't want to push against the sticks. Oh, he can even swing. And last, the handle. And the handle is going to be another piece of the same wire. Okay, so I'm going to make a little loop on the tip right here, and it shouldn't be so little because I don't want it to be able to come out through here. And then I'll insert it. Pull it through, and then another circle right here, and that would be the handle. 